we have these rip-off price tiny cappuccino things. <laughs> oh, rip-off. And today, of course, you got your coffee, which is spring blend as usual. At a semi-fine grind setting. Using my usual dripper. There's your little coffee information there. It's all too hot. But yeah, this is a uh, the third. I had some stuff out there. Anyway, this is the, another series I'm doing now. So I've got three coffee chats now. I had so many ideas of talking about games and stuff within games, which I thought would be different to the life coffee life chat videos are more about life not so much gaming and there's lots to talk about in terms of my like experience with gaming and stuff which i think should be a separate series so that's what this is although the next episode you will see on the life coffee life is a gaming one because i didn't think of this idea when i made that one but that'd be the last one but this is this series is going to be the way you can tell is that there's no coffee making intro on these series. So straight into the talk. Let's get straight into it. Well, I thought for the first episode, I was going to talk about the Tetris effect. If anyone knows what the Tetris effect is, not everyone gets the uh, condition. It's also a game, like they've, the new game is called, the latest Tetris game is Tetris Effect the name, but the term Tetris Effect was made, it must be in like the 90s probably, but I, I don't know if you've ever experienced, say if you played a puzzle game, or like a shmup, or any high action, any game which requires a lot of thinking, and a lot of multitasking, a lot of like focus, if you ever played those before going to sleep and say right you went to sleep straight after playing those or like 15 minutes do you ever have this issue where you can't sleep all you can see is loads of things going on in your mind say if you played uh tetris if you played tetris like half an hour before sleeping and you went to sleep and you can't sleep all in your mind is all these blocks going down and you just can't sleep for like four hours that is what you call a tetris effect because this phenomenon started cropping up more and more when Tetris came out because everyone was having this issue more when they started playing Tetris. That's why it's called Tetris Effect because that's kind of the genesis of all this. But obviously it was around before Tetris but people didn't experience it as much because most people before sleeping probably didn't have much focus like that. Activities which used a lot of recognition and pattern recognition. So. That's probably why. But it also is any game which has high action or any a lot of flashing colours and stuff, anything which is stimulating your brain will potentially give you Tetris effect. So I've had it a very tight very amount of games. Like I remember having uh, I've had Tetris effect with not so much shmups. Not shmups, but the one which really got me was Age of Empires, which I will do a whole video of Age of Empires because that's an amazing series and I want lots to talk about that, but that's not today. But Age of Empires, I remember there was one day when I played about an hour and a half session. I think I was on my own first, just practicing it. This is back in the early days of learning Age of Empires 3 when I was like trying to get the grips of Age of Empires. I've always been interested in the series since a young age, but it was just too overwhelming and too crazy and hard. I was like, this is impossible. Then I think like two years ago, 2021, I decided to, with my friend, we decided to actually learn it and we got really good at it. But anyway, there was a day where I played, I think I played it on my own just, just to learn going against the computer on hard, AI on hard, which yeah. And I did that. Then straight after, my f other friend wanted me to teach him, so I think I taught him how to play. So it was like four hours in total playing Age of Empires. 
and I went straight to sleep after that and I just couldn't sleep the whole night because all I had in my mind was like bunches of blue army, bunch of red army just going crazy. Like, oh, I've got to build up my town. Oh, no, it's going down. In my mind, I had this like kind of, not dream because I'm not sleeping, but just, my mind was just racing, just thinking about armies and building a colony up and just insane. And I just could not sleep that night at all. And I realised that night that, right, I can't play Age of Empires before sleeping because I won't sleep because the Tetris effect appears. So <laughs> that's my worst experience of that Tetris effect. I've had it with puzzle games before, like Tetris, of course, and Pure Pure. I've done it with that before. I've even had this effect with Ratchet and Clank, which is crazy. Even the funniest story was me and my brother played. I think it was what's it called? Ratchet Deadlocked is the American name. Ratchet Gladiator, that's the one. There's a Ratchet Four, which is two players cop split screen on PS2. Me and my brother played the hell out of that. One day we just played that for like four hours straight. And there's a weapon. There's two weapons in that chip. Uh, Gladiator. One of them's like a flail, like a mace, which you smack on the ground, and one of them's like dual pistols. And me and my brother played that so much that we both had the Tetris effect the same night. And then the next day, I was like, I couldn't sleep. All I could think of was this bloody like two uh, jewels, uh, pistols constantly in my mind, just shooting loads. My brother was like, Yeah, I couldn't either. I had this bloody hammer constantly. I'm like, What the hell? So we both had that Tetris effect together at the same time that day. It was crazy. That's why it's not limited to puzzle games or like management games. It can be action games if there's a lot of stuff going on the screen. You're just focused on a lot. My brother gets it normally on sim building games like Sim C. You see, build, see, build, it's crazy, but yeah, that's Tetris Effect. So yeah, I don't know if anyone else has experienced Tetris Effect. They maybe have, but you just didn't know what it was, but it's normally when your mind races. And you kind of have this like hallucination in your mind. It's not hallucination, it's just hallucination when you see something in the room. But it's like in your mind, you build up this pitch and it's like, you're not asleep, you're not awake, it's like this, you're in this like weird sense of reality, it's hard to explain. Because if you knock yourself out of that, let's say if you've got this Tetris effect happening and you can't sleep, you're not really connected to the world because when you realise, I can't sleep, I've got this Tetris effect, and you kind of fall shot, you wake, wake up, you kind of open your eyes and you kind of hit reality again, so it's like this weird middle layer of dreaming and not dreaming when you have this effect because it isn't the same as being awake it's just this kind of like aura to it which is different because once you snap out of it like when you realize oh, i can't sleep because of this effect and you snap out of it and you get a drink it is completely different feelings it's like this weird limbo state it's the best way of explaining it and i haven't i tried to not i haven't tried it because normally i just try and deal with it because I can't sleep, but I don't want to get up and have a drink because then I'm definitely not going to sleep and it's going to affect my sleep pattern. But I think it is wise to, if you can't sleep because of the Tetris effect, is to get up for 15 minutes and just have a drink and just meditate or something. Just try and clear your mind. But you can't clear your mind otherwise. Oh, he dropped my coffee there. But it's not just that, it can happen with like, when you have loads of ideas in your mind. It's a bit different to Tetris Effect because you don't see anything, but yeah. I don't know if anyone else has had Tetris Effect, probably a lot of people do. Best people play Tetris. <laughs> so yeah, this series is just random topics I think of on the go and just talk about. This one's a short one, like 10, 12 minutes, just talk about the Tetris Effect. Uh, the next episode is probably going to be a shmup related one. And then I'm going to talk about Age of Empires, but that'll probably be a longer episode because there's so much to talk about, how I got into it, and just the whole mechanics of it and how amazing it is with the design and what it taught me. Especially in terms of being more team player. More a team player. I mean, Age of Empires teaches you to be cooperative when you're playing co-op anyway. You can play against someone, but... That's a whole new story. I'm not going to go into a rant about Age of Empires because I'll be here for like 40 minutes. But we will try. I'm 
these. I can barely taste the cappuccino. So to let down. <laughs> but this is like this your beginning of whatever this series is gonna be called. At this current time I have no idea what I'm gonna call this gaming series, but we'll find out. But before I go, I will just say that this series is going to be topics like now, like a Tetris Effect, sometimes reviews on a certain game, sometimes there's realizations on a certain genre, like shmups or first person shooters, puzzles and stuff like that, and sometimes maybe Guide, not guides, but maybe just advice on certain how to the outlook of certain things, how to improve. But still, very early days. I don't know what structure I'm going to do in terms of like what videos I'm going to do on this series, but mainly topics. But I will, things I do want to talk about, which will be in the next few episodes, is some up stuff, Age of Empires, and hunting simulators. On my life series, just before I go, it'll be more like personal, not personal stuff, but more like other things in games like coffee, cooking, music design, sound design, learning Japanese, just life experiences. I think that's better for that series. I'm trying to mix it all in one, it's a bit of confusing. And this way you can like just find the topic you're more interested in and just get the playlist. So say if you're more interested in gaming stuff, you want to skip through all the stuff you're not interested in the life ones that's good to split it so you can just have this section of this stuff which is more interested to you so but i guess what i would do at the end of each episode of these is just have a little update of current games i'm playing a little brief summary and then we're going to end it here because i'm just kind of like waffling on now I'm just trying to think of things to say but but this is going to be the end so currently i've just beaten quake on ps5 for the first time first time ps5 it's my second time in overall and it's probably my second favorite fps of all time now i started chocobo dungeon just to see if they've innovated the mystery dungeon series and they haven't it's exactly the same so i've already quit that after now so <laughs> that's gone so that's not happening and now I'm playing my main game I haven't got one going now I'm just thinking what to play because that was it and then I decided not to play I'm always playing a fighting game and that's uh, Street Fighter Zero at the moment I'm learning Chun Li's just basic attacks and I'm playing Dar G Doris as my shmup and then I have this like kind of I have called it a morning game I always get up before my wife and I have a few minutes to play something, and that's my morning game. And at the moment, that's Loco Roco. <laughs> I'm playing Loco Roco. The problem with Loco Roco is that like, the music just sticks in your head. Oh, I've just got it going around around my head, the music. Same with Pat Upon. I played that as well, and I'm like, oh my god. I don't advise playing Loco Roco or Pat Upon unless you want to hear the same music playing in your head for about half a year. <laughs> that's what I'm doing game wise, man. I've decided I might do my next main game. I'm thinking now is uh, Returnal, which is like a bullet hell third version shit, which sounds amazing. And I want to get around to that, so I probably will start that today. And then what I'll do is when I complete my main game, I'll do a video about it on the channel, like I've done with Tokyo Ghost Shell, which is on the live channel, which you'll see on. It probably isn't out by now when I'm talking about this. I don't know. The schedule's all over the place because I record way before I upload them. So I might say the same things on another episode about realising because of how I record it from the schedule. So I apologise for that. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just rambling now. And I guess I'll just end it here. And I'll say welcome to this new series. If you've got any uh, questions, just put them in the comments below. 
any uh, suggestions as well for this series? If there's anything you want to, my opinion on. It looks like a lot of people are now from the shmup community are here watching. So anyone that has any questions of my opinion on certain things in shmups, like for example horizontal, vertical, game mechanics, uh, difficulty. If you have any questions like that and any things you want me to reply on, just put them down in the comments and I'll reply them as an episode, give me some ideas. I would like to focus on more shmups because I'm getting into them quite heavily now, which I talk about on my commentary on my GDRS, which I won't talk about now, which comes out soon. Anyway, I'm just rambling. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.